Hi everyone, Scott Smith, Southern California. Check out this beast. This is your BMW M6 convertible. Black Sapphire, and we've got it ordered here with the competition package. With The wheels are 343Ms in black. Some nice 20 inch wheels. So, let's go have some fun and get a little rev time with Allison. <laughs> that is awesome. Cool. So here we go. We're going to spin this around. Let me tell you a little bit about this car. Um, this is the 2017 model, so we do have some little bit of technology upgrade on this thing. I'll tell you about in a minute. But this car just weighs just over 4,500 pounds, which is about a little over 250 pounds heavier than your coupe. Um, obviously reinforcement, you don't have the cage technology with an actual coupe. It is a soft top convertible, so it is reinforced and rigidity is at its utmost importance dealing with a convertible. So it's 193 inches long, just right around 75 inches wide, and just around 54 inches tall. So very stealth looking. Check out that interior with Allison. Is that awesome or what? We'll get to that in a minute. Hey Allison. What do you think of that machine? Um, that's pretty good. <laughs> awesome, that V8, isn't it? Cool. So yeah, guys, there it is with the top down, so you can see it. We'll put the top up in a minute so you can see how it looks. Allison, let's go ahead and show them the back seat. Okay. What we'll do is, go ahead, Allison, if you want to reach in, go ahead and just turn the car completely off. There we go. Okay. So you can see we have that power adjustment button on top. Allison's going to jump in the back. How tall are you, Allison? 5'8 without heels. I'm okay. not wearing heels, so I'm good. There you go. So you can see the room back here, guys. Definitely, you can have four adults in here. Now, we do have that passenger seat, as you can see, pretty much all the way back. Lots of leg room. We'll go ahead and have Allison jump out now. As you can see, it's a lot easier for the ladies to get out when the top is down. Definitely recommended. So what we're going to do right now, let's go to the trunk. There we go. Now you've got 10 cubic feet of storage in here when the top is down. And you've got available storage of another cubic feet, two cubic feet almost, when this is up. So right now the top is in there. As you can see, you've got some deep storage in the back. Also, you've got a pass-through just in case you have any long objects. Also, obviously, the floor mats are included. You can see it's a nice carpeted interior. Also, here's your front license plate mount. Uh, we will have it drilled into the bumper per the owner's request. And also, if the last thing you're doing is uh, getting stuff out of the trunk, just push the lock, go ahead and close it. As you can see, it's not a power trunk. They keep, still keep that, port, that sporty design with BMW, just having a hand throw trunk door. Okay, let's go to the front. Go up here and show you the power plant. All right, check out this bad boy in here. It kind of fills up every, every little nook and cranny you've got in here. Now, this is a twin turbo. It's a dual, scro dual scroll turbos, total of two, and you've, it's a 4.4 uh, liter V8. And now, this car has been ordered with a competition package. So, stock horsepower is 560. This one's up to 600 horsepower. Normal torque is 500. And now you've got 516 with the competition package. So you're looking 0 to 60 on this is 4.3. But I think with the competition package, it might be a little quicker, maybe somewhere around that 4.2, 0 to 60. Um, one thing to mention, too. So, Allison, I think what we'll do is we'll have you jump in the driver's seat. Sure. Let's do that because we'll show the top operation. But one thing I really wanted to mention about this vehicle um, is... It's less than 1% weight ratio front to rear. So this car is extremely well balanced. I mean, less than 1%. Car weighs just over 4,500 pounds. So the one thing with BMW, they are known for their balancing, the handling, the confidence behind the wheel. And I can tell you one thing with this car, especially with how much it weighs, um, it's definitely well, well, well balanced. So also you can see the M compound brakes there. You got some serious rotors front and rear. So then we're going to have Allison go ahead and put the top up. <laughs> A little rev time. 
It is a full power top, obviously, and uh, it'll lock itself in and everything. So all you gotta do is just hold the button. If there's any situation that occurs where it needs to stop, you just let go of the button, and it'll stop instantly. One thing I thought was really cool because, you know, the size of this top and having it fold, that rear window is separate. So it'll actually go up by itself, as you can see there, or you can have it vented if it's out in the sun. And, you know, crack the rear window, crack the side windows, let it breathe if you don't want direct sunlight on your Opal interior. So go ahead and turn off the engine. There we go, Allison. Cool. Let's go over the sticker. As you can see here, this is a 2017. You can see all the goodies here on the sticker, so <laughs> let's see if I can get my camera to focus for you since we're looking through a glass here, as you can see. Let me just tap it real quick. There we go, guys. I'm wearing out this Note 4, I'm telling you. But you can see all the packages on here. You can see that beautiful opal white full merino leather, which we'll get to in just a second. You've got lots of cool standard equipment on this vehicle. And I'll talk to you about the upgrades for the 17. There's your US retail, suggested retail price. There's your annual fuel cost, and there's your mileage. 14 and 20 with an average of 16. And there is your final assembly. Cool. So let's get the focus back in here. There we go. We'll have Allison put the top down. Check out those full LED headlights we've got standard on this car now. Very, very nice. Very aggressive front end. A lot of breathing going on there. A lot of cooling. Got your nice M6 on your double ribbed kidney grill. You got a nice touch there. And another look at these black 343M style wheels. There we go. Very nice. I'm gonna jump in on the other side here. You guys can see it with the lights on. All right, oh yeah, let's show you those quad pipes back here in black. That signature look of the M series with the quad pipes with that twin turbo V8. All right. Allison, you want to put this one in the garage too? Yes, this was, yes, Santa, Santa's gift to me. <laughs> right here, automatic, just kick me out and drive it home. Yeah. All right, guys, so let's check out the seats here for a second. We got a lot of cool options across here. You've got the leg extension up front, more hamstring support there. Also, we do have the side bolstering buttons. That's right here, so you can tighten up the seat. Also, right here on the back support button right here, you've got some buttons, and what that'll do is that'll adjust the shoulders. So as you can see underneath the headrest there, you can even adjust that. Obviously, the headrests go up and down, and they'll actually wrap around the head if you need to, too. So you can pull these around in case you want to actually try to get some sleep in an M6, which <laughs> I would think is impossible. <laughs> but check out this interior, the contrast stitching. Bang & Olufsen sound system is in here with the, as you saw, I think with the executive package, the contrast stitching is really nice. I think we got 1600 watts in that sound system. Got some really nice attitude with that stitching. The one real awesome signature look that I thought was amazing that BMW did on this car was this connection from the top dash to the middle console. So I thought that was just an awesome look. They've really made the center console and the cockpit to the driver, um, knowing that typically you're gonna have one or two people in this car, so. Hey, Allison, what's Hi. going on? Me and you. <laughs> That's right. Me and you in this car. <laughs> now, where can uh, we follow you at? At Ali underscore BMW Driven on Instagram. Cool. Yeah. So what we'll do is go ahead and start up the car. Also, you've got a 10.2 inch screen there, high resolution. As you can see here, we do have it on the Google imaging for the map. Very, very nice. And it's the new 5.0 software. Let me show you in the armrest here. Allison, go ahead and open up that armrest there and you can see there it is right there is where you can slide your phone in for wireless charging um, also we do have hotspot availability on this and extra USB is right there so very easy to get to 
you know we do have one also in that center console down here so you have multiple plug-ins let's show you the back seat styling a little bit more cool and then also yeah you get the cool M steering wheel what do we got on there contrast stitching with that M stitching Napa nice. leather cool and then we have all the controls for voice command cruise control and also there is your M dash very nice big gauges a lot of adjustability and then we have the M2 and M1 button over here which you can customize complete race mode if you want or relax mode there's about I think six to eight different features we can customize on there so that way touch of a button you can just turn this thing into a monster if you need to yeah so cool so what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and have Lucas spin the car around cool thanks for watching everybody I do sell BMW, so hey, please send me an email. I'd love to have a chance to uh, earn your business. Also, if you can share this on your other social media sites, that would be awesome. Throw it up on Facebook. Little rev time. All right, here she goes. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye.